Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can export your Godot 4.3 or above game to WebGL. Let's get right into it. So firstly, you need to go up to Editor and then click on Manage Export Templates. After that, where it has download from, you want to click on the drop down box and click on Official GitHub Releases Mirror. And you then want to click on Download and Install if you don't have this downloaded and installed already. After that, you can then close the Export Template Manager. Then go to Project and then click on Export. After that, you then want to click on the Add button here to add a preset. Pick the platform, so we're going to do Web. And we're going to call this WebGL for Video. And we need to look at the options. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to keep them all the same. There is one thing you need to make note of. I strongly recommend you leave thread support unticked unless you really want threading support for your WebGL game. The reason being is this will struggle on mobile devices, especially iOS, and will make it more awkward for you to host your WebGL game on other platforms, for example, GitHub Pages. However, if you keep this unticked, it will function just basically like a Unity WebGL game, where it just seamlessly works almost everywhere. So I strongly recommend you have that unticked. Apart from that, you can keep all of the other settings the same. And then you want to click on Export Project. And you need to navigate to a location where you want to export your game. And then what you want to do is you want to right click and click on New Folder. We're going to call this Game for YT. And then we click on OK. And then in this folder, it's going to be where our game is exported to. I also strongly recommend for the file name, you have it as index.html. We'll leave export with debug ticked to make it easier to debug our build. Then you want to click on save. This could take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on how big your game is. But for us, it took literally a second. And now we're in the folder for our WebGL game and look, it's exported, but I'm going to quickly show you that the game works. So one way we can do this is we can shift right click, then go into open PowerShell window here. Then I'm going to do pymhttp.server and hit the enter key. And I'm using Python to host the server locally. I can then do in my web browser, localhost 8000 and hit the enter key. And this will load our Godot 4 game and look, it works. I also just want to say what I just did wouldn't work if you had Fredin support enabled, which is why I strongly recommend you have it unticked unless your game really needs it. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.